Hey guys, uh, welcome to Unbiased Rugby. So, uh, I didn't actually do the preview for this game, but I thought I'd do the review because I watched the game quite late last night. I'd recorded earlier in the day, and I thought I'd speak about it. So, uh, Scotland beat, beating France 17-14 uh, at Murrayfield. It's the French and the, the, the Scots are exactly the same. <laughs> they play really well at home, and then when they go away, they just the absolute the wheels fall apart. And I, I thought it was a much better uh, showing from from Scotland. Finn Russell is, has to be one of the best players or number ten currently playing in the world. The guy's an absolute genius. And Scotland are absolutely lost with that. Uh, Hamish Watson also I th also thought I had a great game. I think he's the number seven, I think. Uh, Stuart Hogg's always always pretty good. But yeah, the one... Uh, even even the, the front side, it was it was quite a, quite a strange game because I was looking at it and, I, and in some places it was really unstructured and some sometimes it, it was it was a strange game because, you know, normally we, we, we're used to watching England and New Zealand, South Africa and, and Wales and it's really, really strong defense, it's defensive lines. Very, very hard uh, uh, rush defence. And it wasn't like that in this game. It really, really wasn't. At, at, some, play, at some points in the game, I, I saw... I don't know if you've ever watched... I'm not saying that they, they like us, but if you've ever gone and go watch one of your niece, nieces or nephews go play, <laughs> like really young, and then you see where the ball is, they've got all the players around the ball. And at one point, I just saw... There was almost no French players on the other side of the field. And they were all bunched together on the one side here. And, and so were the, the Scottish... Scottish team, so it was just like, so weird that you know normally there's a lot of work off the ball to try to get back into the defensive lines, and it wasn't the same for either one of these teams. Uh, I was watch uh, while I was watching the game, and I thought you know well I could try to pick out a few points, and I was actually going to talk about that. You know I think either one of these teams come up against a, a Wales or a, or a or a New Zealand. I think they're going to I think they'll be destroyed if they play that way. Uh, they just cannot play that way. Uh, it, there, there were absolutely no defensive lines. All we need is Richard Moonga, Richard Moonga, to do a crossfield kick, and that's it. You know, you've got some Siva Reese on the on the wing who would catch that ball in a heartbeat and and score tries. And for me, even though France played really well last week and, and demolished uh, Scotland, I didn't think either either team played really well yesterday. Uh, I'm, I'm happy for Scotland to, to to get the win, but they normally win at home. Uh, Murrayfield's almost like a fortress for them, and they're a really strong team at home. But the World Cup's played in Japan; it's not played at Murrayfield, and for them to have the same kind of impact, they really need to start learning. I was reading an interesting stat. I think Scotland only won 20% of their away games, and you know, that's that, most teams. Yeah, your, your away record is, is normally a lot lower than your your home record, but not 20%. You know, maybe you try should try aim for 40, maybe 50% uh, away record, and. 70% home record. That's what you should be working towards. Uh, whereas I think Scotland are very high at home, but and, and 20, and I think France are very, very similar. Uh, I'm not, I don't think they're in the same pool. France is with England and Argentina. Uh, I, I was looking at looking at the French side. I think the the, the French side have, have a really good. Uh, they've got an okay scrum, and but I think uh, and, and Argentina don't have such a great scrum. Um, but I think I think Argentina might be able to stand up against them. Uh, neither team would be able to stand up against England. Uh, I think this scrum would be absolutely demolished. Or oh, one thing I have to say, Vipen now, Willem now, you can really see when a, a decent uh, tight head is on the field. England, uh, Scotland were getting the, uh, some kind of dominance, and they weren't going backwards. The only one penalty he gave away was just before he was taken off, and he should, I thought he should have been taken off at least five minutes before that. You could see he was tiring at that point. I don't think he's played that many internationals yet, but you can see the difference between a, a world no, I don't, a world quality tight head and a uh, and not because he, he did secure that scrum one hundred percent. It was a completely different scrum to last week. But yeah. I'm, I'm happy for the Scots for getting the win. Uh, I think it'll give them some kind of momentum going forward. I just think both teams' defence and the way that they play very, very loose and like very, very loose is, is just not conducive to, to winning a World Cup. And I, and I don't see either one of them winning a World Cup. Uh, I'm not saying that they'll... I, I think they might get out of their pool. Uh, France may have 
Argentina may have something to say against France. I, I can't remember if Scotland said it was Ireland, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could be wrong, but I'll, I'll have a look at that a bit later. But yeah, if they come up against a really well-drilled uh, side that's got great lines and defence, uh, great attacking players, I think both teams will come undone very, very quickly and it might be a really long day at the office for them. So I think, I think they both have the issues. I think they can fix them fairly quickly. I'm not sure if they'll fix it by... By the World Cup, but I'm sure they would have fixed it through the uh, the group stages, and when we get to the quarterfinals, maybe they'll be on, on song. But listen, guys, what did you think of the game? I thought it was entertaining. It was very loose, and, and you know, sometimes it's nice to watch for a really loose kind of game where uh, where the breakdown's quite intense, and uh, there were lots of turnovers, and yeah, it was it was a very very helter skelter kind of game, completely different to the England game uh, earlier in the day, uh, later in the day. But yeah, I. Uh, I enjoyed the game. I think both teams need improvement. But please put your comments down below what you thought. I hope you guys have a great week. Chat soon. Cheers. Bye.